beat her on numerous occasions. Now to the snitch scandal in Orange County where DA, uh, DA Tony Rakakis is under fire for questioning the fairness of the judge who dismissed the death penalty against the country's worst mass killer, Scott DeCry, the county's rather. Judge Thomas Gothel cited misconduct by the DA's office and the sheriff's department related to jailhouse informants and hidden evidence. An appeals court also found systemic misconduct in a video taken at a campaign event earlier this month and posted by rival candidate for DA Todd Spitzer, Rakakis implied Judge Gothels was biased. I have serious questions about whether or not that judge uh, uh, had intended to, uh, to be fair about the death penalty in the first place. Rakakis went on to suggest that Gothels may be biased because the DA's office did not hire the judge's son. In the DA's office, he wasn't. And, uh, and that was, uh, I just, I, I can't allege that's why this happened, but that's there. And, uh, um, and as, far as, the, uh, as far as the Court of Appeals, uh, they're social, social friends. Judge Gothels uh, and, the, uh, and, the, and the different members of the, of the uh, Court of Appeals socialize, do uh, dinners, in, dinners at each other's houses and, and such. Op-eds in the Daily Journal are condemning the DA's remarks, saying in part, attacks on a judge to advance one's political agenda demeans the authority of our entire system of justice. When asked for comment today, the DA's chief of staff accused our producer of bias. Meanwhile, the U.S. Department of Justice is investigating the DA's office and sheriff's department in connection with this snitch scandal. Straight ahead, survivors of the Parkland shooting speak out here in